Chris Kramer's and Lisa Ann Froom were Dutch students who disappeared on April the 1st, 2014. While hiking the El Pianista Trail in Panama, after an extensive search, portions of their bodies were found months later. Cause of death could not be determined, the Dutch investigators initially think that they fell from a cliff after becoming lost. However, foul play could not be ruled out entirely. Chris Kramer's 21 and Lee Sam 22 both grew up in the Netherlands. Miss was described as open, creative and a responsible individual. Froome was described as being aspiring, optimistic and intelligent and passionate. Famous had just completed her studies in cultural social education. Prior to their trip to Panama, Froome had moved in with Kramer's. And they both worked in a cafe together. They both saved up money for six months and planned to go to Panama together on a special six week vacation. They were both hoping to learn Spanish and do something significant with their lives, particularly volunteering with children. The trip was supposed to be a reward for Froome graduating also. Kramers and Froon arrived in Panama on the 15th of March 2014. They toured the country for two weeks before arriving in Bouquet. On the 29th of March they went to live with a local family for one month while volunteering in the local school. On the 1st of April at around 11am they went hiking near the clouded forests that surrounded the Baru volcano on the El Pianista Trail. Some sources say that they took the dog that belonged to the owners of the Alpian Easter restaurant, but this has not been confirmed. The women also wrote on Facebook that they intended to walk around Bouquet and it was reported that they had been seen having food with two young Dutch men before embarking on the trail. Some sources claim that the owners of the restaurant became alarmed when a dog returned without Chris and Nissan. On the morning of the 2nd of April, the women missed an appointment with a local guide. On the 6th of April, their parents arrived in Panama, along with police dog units and detectives from the Netherlands. Froon's parents became alarmed when they stopped receiving texts. After an extensive search of the trail and surrounding areas, the girls weren't found. And the parents offered a $30,000 reward for any information on the whereabouts. Ten weeks later, on the 14th of June, a local woman turned in Froon's blue backpack, which she reported finding by a riverbank, near her village of Alta Romero. In the Bocas del Toro province, the backpack contained two pairs of sunglasses, $83 in cash, Froon's passport, a water bottle, Froon's camera, two bras and the women's phones in good condition. The women's phone showed that around 6 hours after the beginning of the hike someone dialed 112, the international emergency number for the Netherlands, then 911 for emergency number for Panama. The first distress call attempt was made by Kramer's iPhone at 1639, 4.39pm and shortly after that. Another attempt was made from Froon's Samsung Galaxy S3 at 1651 but none of the calls got through due to a lack of reception. None of the calls they made got through. On April the 4th, Froome's battery became exhausted at 5 in the morning. 
and the phone was never used again. Kramer's iPhone would not make any more calls after that, but intermittently was turned on in search for reception. Between the 5th and the 11th of April, the iPhone was turned on multiple times, but without ever entering in the correct pin. Either no pin was used or the wrong pin was entered. On the 11th of April, the phone was turned on at 10.51am and was turned off for the last time at 11.56am. Rune's Canon camera contained photos from the 1st of April suggesting that the women had taken a trail to overlook of the Continental Divide. But they had wandered into wilderness hours before the first attempt of making emergency calls. On the 8th of April, 90 flash photos were taken between 1 o'clock in the morning and 4 o'clock in the morning, apparently deep in the jungle and near complete darkness. A few photos show they were possibly near some kind of ravine, some show a twig with plastic bags on top of them. One photo is reportedly to show Kramer's head. The discovery of the backpack led to new searches along the Calubri River. Two months later, where the backpack was discovered, a pelvis and a boot with a foot inside were found. At least 33 widely scattered bones were discovered along the same riverbank. DNA tests confirmed that the bones belonged to Kramers and Froome. Froome's bones still had some skin attached to them. But Kramers' bones had believed to have been bleached. The Panamanian forensic anthropologist later claimed that the bones had no scratches on them and there were no marks on the bones at all, which can possibly rule out an attack by a wild cat such as the cougar or the jaguar that live in the jungles of Panama. The rumour that Kramer's denim shorts were found folded up and the rock was ruled out in 2021 when photos were published, showing them open in the following photos. There's also been a theory that they met with foul play and they were followed into the jungle by one of the locals and murdered. It's a very strange, sinister, missing persons case and always will be.